Hello everyone. So today I want to go over color correcting. So camouflaging some dark under eye circles, maybe covering some acne blemishes. Maybe you have some dark sunspots, melasma, that sort of thing. That is what I'm going to go over today. So to start, let's take care of these under eye circles. So we're going to use a color called Frenchy. And now this is going to work for anyone up to the highlight probably, and by highlight I mean foundation, um, up until you get to like the maybe like goddess or papaya um, highlights, Frenchy will work great for under eyes. If you are a darker highlight color, you might need something like a scarlet for that under eye color um, or saffron. So if you're not sure, just ask me, you know, I'm I'm always happy to help. But for most people, Frenchie's gonna work great. So Frenchie has some peachy pink undertones and that just kind of helps camouflage blues and purples under your eyes. So another color that can also help, depending on what color your under eye area is, um, you know, you might be able to get away with using like Sunlit, which is one of our highlight colors. Um, or June, which is a little more yellow. So it just depends on what your skin tone is. So if you're ever not sure, just ask me and I'll help you choose the right color for you. So that's it. I will put my highlight color on top of that, but let's just go through all of the color correcting first and then I'll do my whole face. Um, next up, I'm gonna grab my blush and bronzer brush and I'm gonna go into a color called Aspen. Now Aspen is our lightest contour color and it has green undertone, so it helps camouflage redness. I don't have a ton of redness, but I will try to um, demo this by going where I do have some redness. And you'll see it just kind of tones down any redness that I have going on. Just know that if I had more redness, this would be like a more dramatic transformation. I just don't really have a ton of redness. Um, Aspen also works well for like a really red, angry zit. Most of my acne is like just scarring. So um, I don't have any like fresh acne that's like really, really red. Um, so it, I wouldn't use Aspen on that acne. If it was red, I would. But because it's more like bluish purple, um, I'm gonna use a color called Mango. Now Mango is just a darker highlight shade than what I normally use. I use Amber all over. Mango is a shade up. Mango has lots of orange in it, so it helps cover purples and blues. Um, so I'm just gonna use the smudge brush and I'm going to spot correct those blemishes that I have. Now you can do this if you are more fair skinned, um, you could use sunlit for this. But for most people, mango will work fine. But again, if you're not sure, always just ask. So again, this is just kind of working as a concealer. And I'm using our smudge brush. I hope you guys don't mind the the little baby lullabies in the background. Jamal's watching one of his shows. He loves music, so we just like put music on on YouTube and he just dances around. All right, now if you had some like big areas of melasma or freckles that you wanted to cover, there's a couple different ways you can do that. Um, Bella bronzer works really well for covering um, discoloration on your skin. All you would do is just kind of use your blush and bronzer brush and you can put it all over. So if you have freckles all over and you want to tone down the appearance of your freckles, just go all over your skin with the Bella bronzer. If you have uh, melasma or sunspots, um, putting Bella bronzer on top of them works really well too. And it just kind of gives you a nice even base. So it will give you a nice glow, 
but it also works as a way to just even out your skin tone before you start putting your highlight colors on or your foundation. And then I always bring it down on my neck too. For some reason, I mean, not for some reason, I know why. In the summertime, I'm not like laying out in the sun ever. I don't have time for that. So I'm just like outside playing with my sun and my face is getting tan and my chest is getting tan, but my neck does not see the sun. <laughs> so we want to kind of blend that. So I just put a little bit of Bella bronzer and it just kind of helps me look like my neck matches the rest of my body. <laughs> All right, so obviously the more, I don't have really any melasma yet. So if I did, using more Bella bronzer would just help cover that. So you could either spot correct the melasma if you have like big spots, but if it's more like speckled, almost like freckles, then you could just cover that whole area with Bella bronzer and it would be perfect. Um, and then the second option is just to get a darker highlight shade. So, um, you know, if you're candlelit, maybe you try putting sandy over that area where the melasma is showing, and then you can go on top with candlelit. But again, ask me if you're not sure what color to get. So that's all I'm going to do really for color correcting. Um, thankfully, I don't have any super crazy spots to cover right now, but I hope you guys get the gist of it. Um, now I'm just going to put on my makeup like I normally would. So the only thing I'll do a little bit different is I'm just going to grab a little bit of powder and I'm going to go over those blemishes for a little bit of extra um, like stay power because when I go on with my highlight, I don't want it to kind of pull off that color on those blemishes. So we're going to just put a tiny bit. It's putting like the very lightest amount, okay? We don't want to put a lot because then it'll look cakey, but I just really want those areas where I have blemishes to stay covered. So we're going to put that powder and now we can go ahead with our full face. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and grab some contour that's going to go right on my cheekbone. Same thing on this side. <laughs> Not sure if you guys can hear these lullabies, these children's nursery rhymes in the background. I love wearing headbands because it helps hide my postpartum hair regrowth, but makes it hard to do my makeup. <laughs> All right, so that's my contour. I'm just going to pull this back down now that my contour is up there. Perfect. You can also contour your jawline a little bit if you want more of a shadow there to lift and tighten. And then we can also contour the nose. I like to use a smaller brush sometimes to contour my nose just because it can be more precise. Sometimes I'll just take the smudge brush and use that to draw a line. You can also use your detail brush that I was just using. but. I just like to demo a few different options for you guys so you can choose which brush looks right for you. All right, that's it for contour. Next, I'm going to grab my blush and bronzer brush and we're just gonna start putting that main highlight color on where the contour isn't. I'm just going very lightly. I just want some light coverage. I don't want it to be too heavy and I'm not really going anywhere fancy today. So <laughs> light coverage is my go-to most days. So the blush and bronzer brush and the detail brush combined will give you like the perfect, um, you know, light to medium coverage look. If you want like super full coverage, then you can grab the buff brush and that'll be perfect for you. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes because I'm going to put my brightening highlight, but I do want to get a little bit of coverage there with my main highlight color. All right, we'll blend that contour out in a second. 
back to my um, detail brush, I'm gonna grab the smaller end and go into my brightening highlight. And that's just gonna go in the inner corner down the side of my nose. And I'll kind of pull it this way. And then I also like to put that in the outer corner. And same thing on this side. And then to blend those under eyes because the skin under our eyes is so delicate. And especially when we're layering colors. So we put Frenchy already for some extra coverage. And now we're putting another color on top. So anytime we do that, it's good to blend with um, our perfector sponge or beauty beauty blender because that skin is so delicate and just kind of pressing that makeup in and taking off any excess with the sponge will help prevent um, any creasing. And then just a tiny bit of that brightening highlight down the center of my nose. Good. And then I put a little bit right here. I like to bring light and brightness to the center of my face. So here, here, and here. Okay. Now I'm going to put some lip and cheek color on and then we'll blend everything. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of lip conditioner, place that on. And I will grab my multitasker brush. And this color is called, I think Desert Sunset. Yes, Desert Sunset, sorry. Um, Jamal distracted me. <laughs> Just a very subtle, almost like a peachy nude so pretty, just kind of enhances your natural lip color. And then on my cheeks, I'm gonna use plum. So I just kind of put that right above the contour line and we'll blend everything together. I'm gonna put a little bit more contour on this side. So I kind of took it off when I was putting my brightening highlight on. Now we're gonna blend everything. So I'm just gonna grab the blush and bronzer brush and the fluffier side and kind of blend that area out. Same thing on this side. And you just blend until you like how it looks. Don't be scared to contour, ladies. Pre makeup is so forgiving and it's very movable, movable and blendable until you set it, of course. So just blend until you like and then set. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to grab my, where's my setting spray? Oh, okay. Here's my sponge. Here's my setting spray. Gotta get my life together. So I will grab my wet or damp perfector sponge. And I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. And then that is going to blend and also set that under eye area. Again, where I have acne coverage, instead of using the setting spray alone, I'm going to use some powder. So I'm just going to grab this powder brush and kind of place that on top of those areas where I have more acne coverage going on. 
And then I'm also gonna put some under my eyes. Now, if you don't have the powder brush, um, that's okay, you can use your perfector sponge and just kind of get some powder on the corner of it and use that to press under your eyes. And then for the rest of your face, you could just use your blush and bronzer brush and dust that all over for more um, oil control. If you're not oily, then you don't necessarily need that powder step. I still recommend to put the powder like under your eyes, maybe around your mouth, just, just those like high movement areas, you know, you're, you're talking, you're blinking. So your skin moves a lot more in those areas. So just that extra um, stay power is gonna help. That is it. Um, I'm not going to do my eyes, I just wanted to show you guys some color correcting, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'm happy to answer. Have a great day!